Hi everyone, it's Sarah Cade with Big Sky Stamping. I'm getting lots of videos done because I'm stuck at home and it's super fun to show you some of the things I've created and some of the things I've figured out. Today I want to show you this um, trifold spanner card and I got the idea from another demonstrator named Susan Campbell and I took the concept and made it my own. So I want to show it to you. First I'll show you the cards and then I'll show you how I did it. Um, here's two cards I made. I'll show you this one first. So um, I'll show you how it opens. And there's a second level and a third. And the spanner part, I don't know if you can see it, there's a piece of window sheet right here connecting the two flaps. So I'm going to show you how to cut this card and then put the window sheet on. So if that makes sense. You can obviously decorate it any way you want. I use the press petals uh, suite. I use the washi tape. I love these petals. Gives it a 3D effect. I use the yellow centers um, that we have. And then this is the Nature's Thoughts um, and positive thoughts, stamps and dies that are from uh, the mini catalog this year. Sorry, I'm stumbling a little with my words. In case you're curious about the color scheme, I used Mossy Meadow, Rococo Rose, and this is Rich Razzleberry. And then I've got some gold accents, and this little feather is actually some white velvet paper from a couple Christmases ago. So anyway, that's this card. Okay, and then I decided to do one using the Tropical Oasis suite that's also in the mini catalog. I don't know if you can see my flowers. I put a little Wink of Stella um, on the three flowers. Same idea. I stamped. Um, I used the velvet for the feathers. This time on these two side pieces, I used the woven mat um, embossing folder. Here's the second layer. So I've got the pineapple or pineapples, pine palm trees and the sentiment, the pineapple background, and then the inside I just left blank. I did use the stone embossing folder, which is available as a celebration item for my background. And I want to show you the little, um, how I did this different. This For this card, I put a piece of DSP to cover up where the back of all this is. So I think after this video, I'm going to do that on this card too. So it just kind of hides. You can see a dimensional there and some of my cuts and layering. And I like this look a little better. It's easy to put a piece of DSP there. So I want to show you real quick how to make this card. Um, make the bones of it. So you have a regular eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock sheet cut in half and scored in the middle like our regular card. And what you do, I'm using the Stampin' Up trimmer and I'll move it down so you can see it better. And you, there's your uh, measurements across the top. I'm gonna line this up at one and a quarter inches and I'm going to cut, but only up to my score line. And you can see there's a little um, indent on the blade. So I just match that up with the score line. Okay. Then I'm going to move it over to four and a quarter. Got to double check my lines here. Sometimes the centimeters get in the way. And so I have to, I always double check. What is it? Measure twice, cut once, right? So that's four and a quarter up to the score line. So here you have your card, and that could not be easier. So you go from something like this with all these layers and things, but you start here. So what I do, um, you have a piece of window sheet. I hope you can see this. This is four and a quarter inches long and it's one and a half inches wide. And what I'm gonna do is glue it on here. And I like to use glue dots. And you do this first, and then you can cover, you can hide it 
by using DSP. So I'm just putting glue dots on my four corners and then I'm gonna lay it down. I want it raised up a little bit from the bottom and just centered here so it's hooked on. But see, this flap is completely free. Then I can take my bone folder and fold the card down. And this card is ready to go. It's ready to be decorated. That could not be any easier. And when you decorate these two side panels, it will cover up your glue dots and where that, um, where that window sheet is. So anyway, that's a tri-panel, that's my name for it, spanner card. This is the spanner part. It's spanning two pieces, and you have all these surfaces to do something with. So I hope you try this. It's a lot of fun, and you can use it with any style, any theme, and you can also, um, you can just decorate to your heart's content. I thought the Come Sail Away would be a great application of this to do something with the boats and the nautical themes and make a guy card, or even the golf, the countryside um, or country club set and make kind of a golf theme card. So lots of ideas there. Um, all of this, all of these products can be seen at bigskystamping.com and click on shop and it'll take you to the online store. You can do a search for anything you're looking for. And of course, you can always contact me. Go to my blog at BigSkyStampin.com and you'll see my contact information there or my Facebook page. Okay, thanks.